Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now we have the opportunity for a guided meditation for 45 minutes. As you, oh, is that right? Yes. As you all know that I will only just lead the beginning of the guided meditation and then uh, be quiet until the meditation is finished. <clears throat> and if somehow or other I get into a very deep meditation or drop dead, just carry on meditating. <laughs> Well, it happens. <laughs> What's the title of these talks? Oh. <laughs> What's the title of the talks? Rest May in peace before you die. Yes, I'm resting in peace first. <laughs> I'm just going to teach by example. <laughs> Not until you die. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Okay. So when you're ready, please close your eyes if you wish. And with your eyes closed, bring up some awareness. Where are you right now? Where do you intend to go to? Stop that. It doesn't matter where you're aiming to go, what's most important is where you are. And when you are here, see if you can develop the attitude of being happy to be here. You're here anyway. <laughs> so learn how to be happy to be here. And to help, you can contemplate all the places where you aren't today. You aren't at work, you aren't at home, you're not freezing, you're not in some prison somewhere, you're not in a hospital, you're just here, in a nice safe place, with good people around you. And if any of you ever start thinking about the past, remember our memory of what actually happened is always bent. It's distorted by our moods. If you're in a good space, you look at the past with so much positivity. I remember just growing up in UK and I always loved the drizzle. So if I walk outside and drizzle comes, it brings back so much nostalgia. I look at the past with a sense of goodness and kindness. And that makes the past so much easier to let go of. If I look at the future, always give it the benefit of the doubt. People can be so negative and think the world is going downhill. Actually, downhill in the valleys is a beautiful scenery. All the water is downhill. So if ever I feel negative and think, oh, the world's going downhill, I think, great. I see the positive even in the future. The only place where I don't see the positive, I don't encourage the positive, is in COVID tests. Please be negative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you feel like laughing, just laugh. Don't suppress it. Suppressing it is very bad for you.
So sometimes I begin meditation by imagine, imagining I've been carrying these two heavy bags in my arms. A big heavy bag in my left hand. And I don't know how long I've been carrying that. And a big heavy bag in my right hand. And they make life very uncomfortable and make it hard for me to walk. I look at the bag in the left hand. It's like one of these big shopping bags. And on the outside, I can see the four letters, P, A, S, T. In that bag are all my memories, good and bad, about what happened to me in the past, what I did or others did to me. My goodness, that can be so heavy. And it's almost bursting, there's so much stuff in it. And I look at the bag in my right hand, and that has the words F-U-T-U-R-E. The future. And I have so many fears and fantasies and anticipations and plans in that bag in my right hand. Now, I've identified those two burdens, the past and the future. And then I just focus on my left arm, shoulder and hand. I'm so tired. So I imagine leaning to my left and lowering the bag in my left hand slowly to the ground. When it meets the floor, an amazing thing happens. All the weight vanishes. The burden is gone. I'm still holding it, but I've put it down on the ground. And then I imagine uncurling the fingers of my left hand from the little strap on the bag and freeing my hand from that bag of my past and lifting my left hand and arm up, straightening my back, allowing my left hand, arm and shoulder to relax, recover and re-energize. And then I look at the, imagine, the bag in my right hand, the future. All things which may happen, may not happen, I don't know, but it's still a very heavy burden to think about those things and to worry about them. So then I lean to my right, allowing me to lower the bag in my right hand, the future, slowly to the floor. And when it meets the ground, all the weight, the burden vanishes. And that means I can safely move my hand away from the handle, lift my right hand and arm up and allow my shoulder, arm and hand on the right to recover, recuperate, re-energize, become strong again. So I've been carrying those burdens for too long. And then enjoying the process of recovery, I look down at those two bags, the past and the future, and I'm standing in this magical place between the two called the present. And no one is going to take those bags away, unfortunately. <laughs> it's safe. But because I'm not holding them, I can experience some freedom, some peace. 
So I start like that, letting go of past and future. And then also appreciating the fact that I am burden free for these few minutes. And please don't pick up any more burdens. Don't go thinking this is meditation time. I must achieve this and get that and get rid of something else. Don't pick anything up from the bag on your right, the future. Don't pick anything from the bag on your left, thinking oh, I can't do this because I didn't do it before. Just have this beautiful, endless freedom of in this moment. And when you maintain that awareness in this present moment, there literally is nothing to do, nowhere to go, nothing to achieve. I will always remember my teacher, Ajahn Chah, would always emphasize, we meditate not to achieve something, we meditate to let go of things. See how more simple our mind can become. We don't meditate to get somewhere. We meditate to be more fully where we already are. We don't try and change things. We embrace things. The door of my heart is open to this moment, whatever it is. It is something which is not pleasant. We learn from it. Like a teacher, thank you. And after a short while, the discomfort and pain vanishes. It's only there, not because of what we're experiencing, because we don't want to be here. That's the most painful part of suffering. So I'm happy to be here. Then you stay in this moment. You relax. And what are you aware of in this moment? This moment comes to you. You don't go to it. As you're in this moment, you feel what it's like when you don't want anything, when you don't want to get rid of anything. You need a sense of the future to want something. You lost present moment awareness. You got a sense of the past to want to get rid of something which is annoying you. In this present moment, when you really focus sweetly into it, there's no likes and dislikes. And you find this present moment is more than good enough. It gives you so much freedom, peace, and wisdom, no matter what's happening. This present moment, whatever's occurring right now, is like a teacher for you. So you listen to this teaching. You listen to the reaction to this moment and try and make the reaction caring and respect, acknowledging this moment. And then soon you do bring up this sense of happiness and sense of peace. You have no work to do, you don't have to fight. You don't have to struggle or strive. You let this moment be unconditionally. Unconditionally means no matter what it feels like right now. You allow nature to be. When you allow nature to be, it soon becomes 
extraordinarily peaceful. Why? Because you're not striving, you're not doing anything. Just being here. You can feel peace. What is peace? One little method. You don't need to say it because I'm saying it for you. Repeat. Peace. And then pause. Peace. Pause a little longer. Peace. So we keep reminding our own mind to notice what the word peace points to. Peace. Peace. And after a while, the mind goes in that direction. Peace. Peace. What does peace feel like? Don't put it in words. Just know the emotional, non-verbal meaning of what peace is. And some of the aspects of peace, like its beauty, And when you have peace in your mind, in this moment, take it further. Because in the center of peace, you'll find silence, where your mind doesn't talk to itself. The inner commentary stops because it's inadequate. Things come up and they vanish by themselves. You don't give things names. When you have silence and you take away the names, the control vanishes. You need to know things and name them, to have power over them. When there's no names, you let go automatically. You have no choice. You let this moment be silently. How do you feel? And next, it's quite likely you start to become aware of your breathing. You don't do the breaths. Your body is quite capable of breathing without needing your instructions. Your job is just to notice the breath coming in and the breath going out. You don't do the breathing, you just know it. How you know the breathing where you notice it is irrelevant. You're just watching the breath as it comes in, wherever it comes in, noticing as it grows, then fades away until the breath, in breath stops. And then we start to notice the breath go out. 
if it helps, as the breath goes in, you can say to yourself, breathing in, peace, peace. And you can imagine the in-breath with like peace riding on it as the in-breath comes in to your body. Sometimes I imagine it like a white dove gliding in, bringing peace in to my body. And then when I breathe out, I imagine whatever I want to let go of. If it's some sickness, tiredness, some sort of disease, let it go out with my out breath. Breathing in peace. Breathing out, let go. Breathing in peace, breathe out, let go. As you breathe in, breathe in the most beautiful breath you can possibly breathe in. Breathe in with beauty. As you breathe out, breathe out freeing any hindrances, any obstacles, any weights. Breathe them out. Breathe in peace, breathe out, let go. Breathe in beauty. And after a while, the breath appears naturally delightful. I will be quiet now. See where your meditation takes you. Always in this moment, never in the past, never in the future in silence.
it is getting close to the end of this meditation period. Don't open your eyes yet. <coughs> Just review how you feel. How was this meditation? How mindful are you right now? And how peaceful? Why? As you identify what works and what doesn't work, that's where you learn. So when you are ready, open your eyes. Complete this guided meditation. The next in the schedule is some walking meditation. 14.45 to 15.15. That's followed by a 45 minute Half an hour silent? Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's when you get very peaceful and still, time gets distorted. So what might feel like half an hour becomes like 45 minutes. 